Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to a special uh, edition of Pedal Combos. Um, this is not really a pedal combo today. What I'm going to show you today is the, uh, I just received this in the mail. It's the, uh, the Wilcock Bases 4P51P. So, uh, obviously you can see the craftsmanship on it is pretty banging. Um, it's a chambered base. Uh, alder and maple body. None of these things are things that I usually care about, but this thing is so pretty to look at that I'm... And then Viv also told me the specs. Viv Wilcock, the maker of the base. He uh, mentioned the specs on my Instagram page. So it's a uh, basic spec for the 51P. It's a uh, chambered alder, alder and maple body. So there's, there's, it's like a little bit of hollow in here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where. It's a single 4P 51 Aguilar uh, pickup. It's like super low gain, like like the old pickups used to be, the, the tele pickups. I think they're like 5 hertz or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's low gain, just like an old vintage pickup. Uh, this is a lacewood neck, pretty interesting, kind of. It's already got a sanded down feeling to it, which is rad. Um, uh, 20 medium jumbo frets. I don't know what a medium jumbo fret, maybe a jumbo fret's a big fret. Yeah, they, I mean, they're kind of big, which is great to me. If you want to do that effect, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, double action truss rod. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean there's two of them? Or maybe, don't really know what that means. Double action truss rod. But that's, you know, for you nerds out there, that's kind of a thing. What? Okay. Yeah, for, for people who, uh, who care about that kind of stuff, the double action truss rod. Uh, it's all shallow hardware, the bridge, tuners, um, strap locks, pretty rad, sharp looking. And uh, it's strung with Dunlop flaps, which are my, Dunlop, Dunlop flat wounds, which are my go-to flats, uh, as you probably know by now. So yeah, I mean, so let me play it a little bit for you. So also it responds really well to, to boost pedals too. This is the um, Alpha Omega Ultra from Dark Glass, which uh, you don't you can use as, a, as an EQ boost. So I'm going to use it as an EQ boost. Boost. It doesn't really do much to the sound. It kind of makes it more thumpy and old. Also, the other uh, uh, advantage is, um, and I've said this before, like some of these new short scale bases really are served well by playing them through old amps. So this is uh, my 70s um, B25B. So it kind of really warms off, warms up the, uh, you know, really warms up the, the kind of newness of the pickups and the newness of the sound of the bass. Yeah, um, Viv is making some very special basses. You know, as you know, I have the also have the uh, this bad boy too, which is the Malarkey model, which is incredible. I've used this a lot on gigs. Did a whole tour with this bass. Um, done some recording with it. It's really great. So you know, generally speaking, I'm excited about Viv Wilcox stuff, and uh, maybe you should be too. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people making good basses these days. Um, I know I've, I've featured Schechter. Schechter's coming up. Um, you know, Sarek, uh, Mulan, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, those guys are all great. Uh, this is another great bass banker, uh, Viv Wilcock from London. So cool. Uh, check his basses out. He's on Instagram. It's called Wilcock Basses. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.